Freikstorn Strix is an exile of House Van Saar and former clan architect. Ancient by the standards of his house at the age of 47 Terran solar cycles, Strix has converted his bodysuit into an armoured life support cradle and replaced his limbs with powerful cybernetics. Many of his body modifications are of Strix's own invention, mixing the Van Saar STC's technologies with more common tech of the Imperium. Strix must routinely prey upon enemies for the parts to keep himself alive sometimes throwing his lot in with gangs if there is a promise of technology or a hefty score of creds. Strix's jetpack assembly, the Strixian harness, and ornithoptical combat kit, or S-H-O-C-K, shockwing, allows him to soar across the battlefield, leaping high over the reach of his foes as he assails them with his pneumatic claw gun. Perhaps Strix's greatest weapon, though, is the fear he engenders in his foes, and many believe he is not human at all, but some mechanical hunting horror unleashed by the noble houses for their own dark amusement. Hello and welcome back to Wellywood Wargaming. My name is Damon, and this is the series where I'll be exploring all of the Dramatis Personae and hired guns in the game of Necromunda. Now, this is a huge undertaking, so please do support me by liking, sharing, subscribing, and commenting down below as well. Uh, and please do, uh, you know, check out the Patreon as well if you'd like to support me even further. It'd be much appreciated. So, as we get into the Fs, as we're going alphabetically, this is Freikstorn Strix here. Super, super cool bit of lore there that I gave you, of course, a little bit like reminiscent of the Dark Knight there, especially with the illustration that we've got too. Glorious illustration with um, a sort of perching on a, a high roof there with these sort of raggedy wings and uh, a harpoon launcher with some clawed feet and a Van Saar sort of bodysuit there. Really cool um, piece of uh, art, that one. And amazing lore there as well to boot. So... This guy's 270 credits in the game, which is quite a lot of creds to spend, but like a lot of these earlier uh, hangers-on and dramatis personae and hired guns that we have in the game, um, you know, they were they were made in a time when the rules, the power creep in Necromunda has kind of overtaken them a little bit, if I'm honest. So this guy just isn't as good as um, some of the later dramatis personae guys, and that's generally a theme in all of these videos, as you probably noticed by now. But let's look at the stats quickly. Um, we have a movement of six, which is really good, especially for a Vansar. This guy's quite fast. We have a weapon skill of five plus, which is frankly terrible, um, especially for a guy who's supposed to be like Batman. A ballistic skill of four plus, which is average. Strength toughness, three. Um, wounds, two, which is also nice. Uh, initiative of four up, which kind of makes sense because he's Vansar, but also he's supposed to be a flying Batman, so she could be better than that. Two attacks, a leadership of eight. 7 plus cool, uh, willpower 8, which is fairly bad as well, and an intelligence of 10 plus. I, I feel like that's a min misprint, to be honest. 10 plus intelligence is just dreadful. It's like an Ogryn, um, or worse, I don't even know. Um, but this guy's very, very not very smart, uh, unfortunately. So the things that stand out there, obviously, it's nice to have two wounds, two attacks, and a movement of 6 is really the highlight there, I'll be honest. But the rest of the stats are fairly underwhelming. He's got Catfall, Clamber, Mighty Leap, and Sprint, which are four inbuilt agility skills there. Pretty cool. Um, Catfall reduces the damage you fall if you do ever fall. Uh, this guy's also got Clamber, though, which means you can climb up a building like you're just walking, um, which is an excellent skill. I actually really like Clamber. It's underrated. We've got Mighty Leap as well, which is just makes it easier to leap. And we've also got Sprint as well, meaning that you can a double move. Instead of double move, you can triple move, basically, meaning that you get a whopping 18-inch move uh, on that double if you really want it. For weapons, we've got a harpoon launcher, an auto pistol, and a knife. Um, the harpoon launcher is, I think, an underrated weapon. I think it's really fun to use. However, it's just not very accurate, especially when you have a ballistic skill of 4+. plus. It's just not that accurate. Um, there are certainly better weapons in the game, but it's it's fun to use, and it can be it can really really show up in games um, when you don't when you don't expect it. This guy's also got an auto pistol and a knife, so not very Van Saar in terms of his weapons, but, you know, the law, I suppose, dictates all this. Um, he's got an armoured body glove and flak, um, so a sort of four up in blasts, a five up otherwise. Uh, he's got shock wing, which combines a drop rig, a grapnel launcher, and a grav shoot, so he can't actually fall at all. Um, so that kind of means that catfall is uh, negated there entirely. Uh, so there's no point in actually having it because the grav shoot pretty much means that you don't ever suffer, suffer any damage from falling or dropping. 
Uh, we also have a drop rig and a grapnel launcher as well. Grapnel launcher for a double, you can move 12 inches. But again, what's the point in doing that, I suppose, when you've got that whopping 18 inches and clamber? You know, you're not often going to be using the grapnel launcher. You could probably just go straight up a building, but you're probably better off just running up it with uh, catfall, uh, with, with clamber and, and the high movement. Um, I don't know. I'm sort of rambling a little bit here, but... Yeah, this guy's interesting. Um, he's not particularly great, but he is really fucking cool. Um, big, big shout out to Chris Idden from Sump City Radio because he's done some amazing conversion work on this guy. And I've seen a bunch of you know really good conversions out there in the community of this guy because there isn't actually an official model from Forge World yet. I have a feeling when they do finally get around to releasing this guy, he'll probably be underwhelming compared to the awesome work that the likes of Chris and others have done in the community. Um, so do check that out on Instagram and stuff. Just look at this guy on Instagram, you know, hashtag Freikstorn Strix. I'm sure some stuff will come up on this guy and you'll see some excellent, excellent work anyway from the community members. Um, so shout out to you all on that one. Um, that's pretty much it for Freikstorn Strix though. I would say you're not going to hire this gun in a game because this high this hired gun in a game because he's just not great for 270 credits depending on how you use these we we use a sort of bounty system and this guy has sort of showed up in a couple of games but he's never been very impactful if i'm honest um having him as a outcast leader though would be quite quite interesting because you could probably give him some skills down the track to make him you know much better i suppose but he's not that great, um, you know. He's really, he's really not uh, in the top tier of it anyway. But I'm going to do the tiers after I've done the entire list of Dramatis Personae anyway. But I'm already rambling, so that's enough from me today. Peace out. <laughs>